welcome back to Red Ted Art. First things first, subscribe to the channel. Now today we're going to show you how to make these really cute felt strawberries. What I love about these is we actually made these about, well I made these about four or five years ago for my kids to play with when they were little and we've still got them. Now they're also, if you attach them to a keyring, a really lovely cute keyring. I love it as a keyring. You can also stick some lavender in it for some like little smellies and um, also they look nice as a like a, a backpack pull or zipper pull or, or you know like something decorative on your on your school bag so these are super cute and they're a great sewing project I know they look a bit tricky but I promise you they're not especially because we're going to be using some basic stitches to help you along the way now I've also got these donuts and if you really like them let me know give me a thumbs up comment subscribe all that kind of business and then uh, let me know and then maybe one day we can make these felt donuts together as well so just let me know okay so for the strawberries, you need some felt. Obviously the red felt is the main thing and a little bit of green felt. I've got two different greens, but one green is enough. You also need, um, I'm using this uh, sellotape to kind of measure out my, my circle, but you also need a little bit of stuffing. I've got, got some cotton wool here because I can't find my stuffing. I've got it somewhere. And also, of course, um, some embroidery threads. Now, if you don't have embroidery threads, you could make it and uh, use normal uh, thread to sew it and maybe use some little yellow beads or, um, you know, have a look around at what, what you might have. But little yellow beads would look really sweet. But I do think the yellow thread works quite well for these seeds. And then, of course, you'll need um, a needle and some scissors. So the first thing you need to do is, is you need to cut a circle um, to make your strawberry. Now, a circle will give you two strawberries. Uh, as you can see, I've got some fabric scraps here, so there's not quite enough for two strawberries. Um, so I'm going to just cut a semicircle, which is kind of, I have to kind of guess a little bit where, where the half is. But um, doing a circle is better because then you get it super neat and you can definitely get two out of each one. So see if that's marked. And also, if you get a circle, what you do is you cut your circle out, you fold it in half and you cut it along the middle and then you've got your perfect semi-circle. I just have to estimate it a little bit, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to it because I've been crafting for so long, so it's a bit easier for me. So you need the circle, cut it in half, or in my case, cut it, only cut a semi-circle. Okay, so that's your first bit. Now you have a choice, you can either start uh, sewing your um, strawberry or you can put on your seeds first. I'm going to put my seeds on first because I find that a little bit easier. Um, I might use up this little bit of yellow actually because it's a little bit smaller. And then I've got below, I've got uh, linked and also in the eye cards, I have linked um, all the basic stitches. So you've got the running stitch and you've got things like back stitch. Uh, and you've also got things like a French knot. Now French knots would look really sweet. So this is a French knot, can you see? French knots would look really sweet as the seeds. So that's also down below, and that could be a nice way of doing it. But I'm gonna show you the easier way, which is just like a little running stitch. So I've tied a knot, like so. I always like to make my knot double, so I just push it through again. But a single knot should really be enough. It's just to have it. And then if you have a front or back, go on into the back, uh, you know, starting at the back, but it doesn't really matter. And you know, this is, this is going to be an edge that you're sewing, as is the top. So just go a little bit away from the edge and just randomly push that in and then come back, not too big. This is your first seed. And then come back like so, and then go in. This is your second seed and then you do it all over. Now I did quite a lot of seeds here. I think I'm going to do slightly less this time. It doesn't really matter. It depends on how much time you've got to make each one. Now if your thread's getting a bit short like this, what you do is you push it under behind like push it through and then loop it, go into the loop. This is kind of gives you a little knot. Do you see that? I can do it again. So you push it under one of the other threads and then you come back through the loop before your needles, like so, and pull. And that gives you a little knot and you can trim that so it doesn't get in your way. You could leave it as well to be honest because it's on the inside.
Okay, so I've now threaded on some red thread. I've got my half strawberry. Now you want to do is fold it in half like this so that the messy side so the, is on the outside and the nice side is on the inside. So you've got a like a, a quarter of a triangle. Now on the corner down here, so not the top, it's better to go down here. You just stitch it in and you do, you can do a running stitch or a back stitch. Um, like I said, we've, I've got linked below what the different stitches look like. So a back stitch, a running stitch goes in, out, in, out, in, out, like so. A back stitch goes back like that. And it means a back stitch is actually a bit stronger. So I'm going to do um, a back stitch because I want it a little bit stronger. But to be honest, you could get away with a running stitch, okay? So um, I'm actually doing a back to front back stitch here. As you can see, if I turn it around, let's just get into the, anyway, it doesn't matter, it's a back stitch. Um, and it just means it's, it's a really tight, neat um, stitch. In a minute, we'll have to do a running stitch though. This is a back to front running stitch because look, you've got it neat here and then you've got the double one, but it doesn't matter. Basically, you just need to make sure that it's super secure. Really tight. This is where embroidery th thread is really good because it's very strong. If you're using ordinary thread, uh, use it double. Okay, so you've done that side. Now look at this. Ta -da! Push it in. And you have your little strawberry shape already. Doesn't that look cute? So now comes the next bit. You've still got your thread attached. If you've run out of thread, obviously you can add some more. Now you need to do a running stitch because we're going to gather the strawberry. So the running stitch goes in, back, or out, in, out, in. You'll see me do it. And like I say, do check out my stitch videos below because they're really, really helpful. So I've just gone out, in. I hope my, my thread should be long enough to go all the way around because you'll need it for the gathering. Let's see. And don't go too close to the edge, otherwise it could rip because felt is a little bit softer. So this is what happens with a running stitch. Look at this. You can gather it. Can you see? And that will shape your strawberry. You don't have to gather it yet. Now, you put some of your stuffing in. I think I might only need one actually, or maybe one and a half. And then you gently pull it quite tight so this is mine's quite small strawberry there we go so using uh, this was 10 centimeters uh, gives you a little strawberry obviously that's a bit bigger so 10 centimeters plus in diameter is good there you go so that's uh, look at that isn't that so cute so cute and now you have to secure your stitches so I'm just going to go opposite like so it's a bit tricky this bit and then I'm just going to as if I'm sewing it shut, pull it across. Now you don't have to do too many of these. And each time I'm going to go opposite. So I'm going to go this side now, opposite. And then I'm going to, well, and then come across. But to knot it, you just go in like this. And then you pull your, put your needle through again to create a little knot. And I'm going to do that twice. And then I'm going to stick my needle in because I want the little, I want my thread to go in like so. And I've just pulled it out the side and trim it a little bit. And there you have your basic wee strawberry. Isn't that cute? That's so lovely. Right. Okay, so now it's time for your little um, green uh, leaves. So I'm going to use. Um, a, a bit of green. I'm just going to roughly, you can draw this out first. You know me in freehand, I do love a bit of freehand, but if you're uncertain, it's kind of like a little um, star. 
and then you get a little contrasting color but you don't have to just check that you like the look of it I like the look of it and now we're going to sew on now I'm just going to sew on the center on this one these ones you can see I sewed them flat down the reason I did that was because my kids were quite small when I made these and I wanted them to be able to play with them without um, you know pulling them off or, or ripping them or, or chewing on them I just basically didn't want them to break so I sewed them down flat but you don't have to sew them I quite like them sticking out because I think that looks more like a real strawberry start off by pushing this through so that the knot is at the back Oh, my needle's a bit stiff and I'm going to place this on top like this and okay this is a bit fiddly I admit but it's basically like sewing on a button you pretend that your green bit is a button and that you're coming in and out and doing a, a crisscross so I just so when you do on the green bit if you're having difficulties with it you might want to ask an adult to help you but you could also glue it on to be honest but again, I think if you're using it as a um, as a key ring, it's better to sew it on. Now, if you want to turn this into a key ring, you can either um, just sew on, you know, the loop of a key ring, or what I've done in the past as well, but I should have said that earlier, is um, when you're sewing. Um, this seam you can add a ribbon in as well so here we go so that, that I think that's good enough for me like I said if you want to um, oh you can see some threads here if you want to you can sew down the tips like so so that they don't that they're not loose and they don't get ripped I quite like them loose I think it's really sweet um, and yeah so basically now you just need to knot this off there you go super cute little strawberry and like i said we made these years ago they've lasted super well i think they look amazing as key rings really nice on book bags a really lovely little sewing project or you can fill them with lavender and use them as like little smellies to put into your sock drawer or something and they make lovely lovely gifts a really nice little sewing project so i hope you liked it i hope you have a go let me know about the donuts if you do want the donuts please leave me a comment below um, if i get enough comments i'm not quite sure how many is enough maybe about 20 comments um, saying we want the donuts i will make one of these donuts and show you how to do it but in the meantime subscribe comment and yes, see you here again soon. Bye.